loaded up uh, just ready to head out grabbing some morning chow and we'll be on our way all right everybody we uh just stopped here for a break in sparwood and uh Sparwood, BC. This is a big coal mining town, and so they have these big haul trucks that uh, haul coal from the mine. And uh, just as you enter town here, they have one on display. That is a very big truck. But put your giant self in front of that wheel. <laughs> so there's Kieran and his six foot two self next to that tire uh, <laughs> that's a big truck one time I think was the world's largest truck I'm not sure if it is anymore they've got haul trucks like this up in Fort McMurray in the oil sands uh, that I think are this size as well but it's possible this is still one of the biggest trucks in the world it says on the sign here that when this thing's fully loaded, it carries 350 tons, which is pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. Just arrived at uh, our Airbnb. Pretty amazing place. People who own it live in that house, but you have access to the pool in the distance there. I'll show that later. And then we stay in the guest house, which is right here called the Picker Shack, um, which is a pretty nice little place actually. This is orchard country, so called the Picker Shack for all the pickers. Here's uh, the inside, which is pretty awesome. A little living room area here. Our TV, got a little kitchen, a couple of fridges and an ice maker. And then we got bedroom for wife and I. It's a nice door out onto a deck that looks out over the valley. Unfortunately, <laughs> you can't see because of the smoke here in British Columbia right at the moment. It is what it is. Um, definitely a nice big deck though. And then uh, the kids' room and their own bathroom here. That's a walk through into the living room. Pretty nice place. So this is our home for the next five days and where we'll be launching from for our fishing excursions and uh, maybe some other things like hiking and exploring the countryside, checking out the orchards, etc. Looking forward to it. So this is the pool area attached to the main house, but usable by the guests. Let's see how smoky it is in the background. Can't really see the mountains. How's that for you? Good. It's really warm. <laughs> it's good. A nice little gazebo over here. Hang out in it in the evening. Very, very, very nice place. You can just start to see the mountain off in the distance there. The smoke has cleared just slightly, barely. All right, we're gonna get in here ourselves. Day two of the smoky, rainy vacation. <laughs> we're hiking a mountain trail in the rain, because hey, what else do we have to do? Let's rock this. So this is Balancing Rock Trail. Apparently takes about two hours. This is the parking area.
And the crew is up ahead here somewhere. And they are. All right. Stopped here for a break. I think we're about 20 minutes from our destination, but we hit the crest of a ridge here. And uh, it's a good place to stop and have a break. With the rain and the clouds, you can't see too much, but we're going anyway. <laughs> You're looking wet. Whew. We, we uh, think this is Balancing Rock, <laughs> which is what the trail is named after. It is kind of balancing precariously, but not really on a couple of pieces of shale. Um, it is a very big boulder. And uh, there is some space underneath it there. So that probably is Balancing Rock. Um, but we're not quite at the end of this trail yet, so we're going to keep going. All right, so we've descended into a valley here on the backside, and uh, we went into the clouds. That is not smoke, even though it's been smoky here. This is, uh, we are in a cloud, so it's really uh, hazy. Quite a bit darker in here because of that. Still uh, drizzling. Pretty cool little area, actually. Fun hike. Well, we hit the bottom here, and we entered into a little Jurassic Park realm. I see a sign up ahead. This looks like there would be Velociraptors. Very Jurassic Park. Oh, wow. This is There's a little boardwalk here that's kind of falling apart. Yeah. Pretty uh, interesting little spot. Okay, so we decided to not go back the way we came because we found another trail here called the Fern Forest Trail that is going to take us out of here, apparently, um, on these rickety boardwalks. Let's do it. Did happen to see some slugs on some of these plants. There's an example right here. These black slugs with kind of a ridge pattern on them. Oh yeah. If you stay on the metal, you'll be fine. It's the wood that. All right, we've uh, entered the fern part here of Fern Valley. Pretty thick. Very cool. And it also started raining heavier. So we are getting wet, but that is okay. A little rock shelter. Get out of the rain. <laughs> little soundtrack. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I'm loving this. It's pretty good. Final stretch here, heading down 
it's uh, really started raining now, so everybody's soaked. Trails are getting a little muddy, so we gotta be careful we don't slip here on the way down. But we are almost done. We're coming out by the highway. We can hear the cars on the highway, so we should be out here within five minutes. But we're just uh, descending one last steep slope. Oh, I can see the highway. Okay, everybody, so a little bit of a snag here. Um, this was unexpected. Got here to Duck Lake. Uh, this is the only road in. We'll show you the road here in a second. This is the only road in to Duck Lake where you can launch your kayaks that we're uh, aware of. And when we checked the website, it did say be aware of seasonal road closures, but there was no notice. But we got here today, and it just so happened that this road is closed from August 15th to October 15th. Um, it's August 16th, so the road closed yesterday. Uh, which means we can't get through because they've locked the gate and we can no longer get into Duck Lake. So uh, why? I talked to the local fishing shop here in Creston and it's because of northern leopard frogs. The northern leopard frogs migrate across this road, across the dike, and they're a protected species. And so they do not allow any motorized vehicles into this area for those two months that the northern leopard frogs are hopping across the road. So I'm not sure what's gonna happen now in terms of bass fishing. So what we're gonna do next is go see if we can find another place to fish for the day. Uh, and then we'll see if we can find another place into this lake. <laughs> I'm not too sure. Got a nice uh, sunny and relatively clear day here, which is very different than what we've had. So decided to come out to the beach and do some just kayaking instead of just kayak fishing. Great spot on Kootenai Lake here to uh, let some people go out. Twin Bay beaches. Very nice beach. So we'll do a little relaxing. Just doing a little kayak in this time. Not fishing out here. Just enjoying the nice scenery here of Kootenai Lake. This is the view today. A little bit better than last time. <laughs> Loving this pool at our Airbnb. Really fantastic place with an awesome view of the valley here that we can actually see today, which is cool. So really uh, enjoying taking a moment in the sun. And there's their little orchard off in the distance there. It is currently full of Apples, pears, plums, and cherries. Very nice place. No. <laughs> Everybody, just uh, taking a break from fishing. Sometimes you gotta relax and enjoy the view. What do you say, Chief? Pretty nice. <laughs> 